It's Monday, December 17th, and your stories today are Bitcoin bomb threat emails, Honey Nut Cheerio buzz coin, and if crypto were a band. Hello world, you are watching the comments on ETH News. On Thursday, hundreds of emails and phone calls in which a suspect claimed to have placed bombs in various businesses, schools, and even hospitals were sent and made across the US, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. Although many police departments, along with the New York City Counterterrorism Bureau, tweeted that the threats were not considered credible, the fear and confusion the victims felt from these threats was very real. The National Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Center, part of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency, made an announcement on December 13th that it is aware of the global email campaign. Media reports have pointed out that scammers are demanding a large Bitcoin ransom and that the emails are sometimes sent with the subject line, I advise you not to call the police. The agency is asking that the public report emails to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center or to a local FBI field office if they should appear in your inbox. Nothing says blockchain technology like celebrities and cereal? Recently, Honey Nut Cheerios launched its Good Rewards program where customers can sign up to earn BuzzCoin tokens and donate them to the celebrity of their choice. The Good Rewards program works like this. Participants create an online profile on www.begoodrewards.com and with every purchase of Honey Nut Cheerios, the participants can scan a code on each box and collect the reward BuzzCoin tokens. With BuzzCoin tokens, you can choose to either support Team Michael B. Jordan, who's teamed up with the Feeding America organization to help fight hunger, Lucy Hale, who teamed up with the ASPCA to help protect animals, or Rob Gronkowski, who is representing his own organization, the Gronk Nation Youth Foundation, which helps fund youth sports. The team to collect the most BuzzCoins wins $100,000 for their charity. <laughs> Last week, Twitter user Ari Paul posted, quote, let's play a game. If every cryptocurrency was a musician or musical group, who would represent each crypto, unquote. Paul started the chain himself by saying Ethereum is John Williams, an American composer who scored for films like Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and Harry Potter. His reasoning for choosing John Williams as Ethereum was that Ethereum is a prolific crowd pleaser. He also assigned Zcash 50 cent because, according to him, it has street cred. The thread has lots of hilarious tweets. Here are some of my favorites. At Sean Collins, LSP believes Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Satoshi version should be Milli Vanilli, which for those of you that don't remember the 90s, it's a pop group that turned out to be a total sham because they lip sync everything. At Recentralized said Tron is karaoke. At Jared Harrell called the Dogecoin Weird Al. At Rich Archman thinks XRP is the nickelback of the crypto community. Ari Paul, did remind his Twitter following that musician analogies are not financial advice. And that is my comment for the day. It's time to tell me yours. Which team would you choose? Gronk, Lucy Hale, or Michael B. Jordan? What cryptocurrency musician did we leave out? Let me know what you think. Find us on social media. Have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment to hear my take on the day's top crypto and blockchain stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like this video and share it with your friends on social media. To make sure you get all the newest episodes, click on the alert button. That's that bell looking button by the word subscribe. Follow me on social media at, at ETHNewsy. That's at ETHNewsy. And I will see you next time.